Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can unlock your Apple device that has been disabled. This comes about if you enter your password incorrectly far too many times. This technique works for all Apple devices including iPhone. Um, and this technique, what we're going to do today is we're going to put it into a factory restore. So everything, your email, your Wi-Fi password, your pictures, everything's going to get wiped out. So just a heads up there. If you're ready to do that, first thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to get a computer. If you have Windows, you're going to have to download iTunes. I'm using iTunes version 12.10.11 on this computer here. If you have a MacBook Pro or any of the Mac computer or Apple computer, iTunes comes pre-installed. Next thing you need is a USB to lightning cable like that. This end goes to your uh, Apple device. This one goes to your computer. So on the Apple device, we're going to connect the lightning side and I'm gonna just going to put it here on the side here and the USB goes to your computer. You'll see that your computer picks up the iPad. Okay, the next thing you're going to have to do is hold down your home key and your power key on the top here, right? You're going to hold down until you see a USB logo come up here and uh, Apple and an Apple uh, pop-up window will appear asking you do you want to restore or not right so let's get started so hold down home and power key hold down you'll see disable message come up again and you'll see Apple logo coming up here in, in a few bit and then followed by the USB cable logo That's your Apple logo and USB logo. Then next thing you'll see, iTunes will get launched. So over here, they're asking, uh, there's a problem with your iPad that requires you to update and restore. In here, you got options for cancel, update and restore. You're gonna click on restore. Next thing they will ask you, are you sure you want to restore the iPad to a uh, factory settings? Then they say all your medias and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iPad software will be installed, right? Like I said, you'll lose all the data in your iPad or your Apple device. For now, I'm going to just go ahead and click on Restore and Update. Over here, I'm going to click on Next and then Agree. Now they're telling you last one more time that they're going to do all that, right? You're going to click on Done. And what Apple uh, iTunes does is that it starts uh, uploading the, uh, uh, putting the, restoring your iPad. Okay, once everything is complete, looks, this is what the screen looks like. Press the home key and you'll be greeted with a standard Apple new iPad or mobile device. Uh, hello pages here. If you learned something new and if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.